Ladies and gentlemen, let us discuss Ivy Bridge E's replacement. Get ready for it. The Haswell E. It is apparently set for release in the third quarter of 2014 and is going to cost a cool $1,000 per CPU. It's going to be pretty much what you'd expect, par for the course really. 22 nm die, 8 cores with hyper-threading, so that's 16 uh, logical threads. And we're also going to be seeing two of these types of CPUs, the X and the K series. So aside from hyper-threading, we're also going to be seeing the CPU support Turbo Boost 2, the third generation of PCI Express, and finally DDR4 memory support, which obviously is a substantial bandwidth and performance upgrade for PCs, particularly those which are doing a lot of encoding or compiling work, in other words, for high-end desktops and workstations. Right now, there was recent news from Micron that they've managed to improve the performance of 2133 memory by around 18% by messing around with T4, that is T-F-A-W, but it's not enough for long term. By the way, if you want more information on that, you can simply search Micron on the channel and you'll pop up with a video. So DDR4 is going to be a really great way of, um, to solve a lot of these issues. Right now, we're looking about 50% extra memory bandwidth and a power saving as well. It goes without saying that Intel are also releasing a new chipset known as the X99, which is going to feature numerous extra additions, such as uh, 10 SATA 3 ports. And we're also looking into a refresh of the regular Haswell line of CPUs as well. That's in the second quarter of 2014. And along with those, we're going to be seeing the Z97 and H97 uh, chipsets popping in as well and that's going to be sometime between the first late first quarter and early second quarter so where does this information come from well it's from an unnamed source somewhere up intel supply chain they don't want to you know say anything further for obvious reasons purely because of ndas and so on so we're not exactly sure if this is true and how accurate it's going to be um, if you want more information on this or you want the original source links, you can check out the article and it's got it all there. So anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the relatively brief video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.